so positive about the future of the water. We have seen so many more young water professionals. They are engaging, they want to do something. We have many more young water professional chapters across the globe and we are even planning to do a European water initiative next year. So I'm so, so happy for it. I believe the senior water professionals just need to recognize and see young water professionals. So the exercise is not only when we are within our own organizations, but also when we are dealing with other organizations, to treat young water professionals with the same respect and professional level that they do with seniors. What I want to ask is the craziness to come from seniors, to let it go, to believe that the youth will be able to carry it out. We are really happy to be here with the International Water Association, who is our uh, very big partner around the world on water and sanitation issues. And uh, we came here to invite people to come and to uh, participate in this uh, 21st Congress of AFWA in Abidjan. Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire is a place where all the experts from the water and sanitation sector from Africa but also from around the world and we talk about all the issues that can be solved and hopefully put the solution into implementation. Congress to broaden my network and to seek opportunities with potential companies that would like to collaborate together. We want to look for the digital solutions for our customers and for the entire industry and I already see a lot of them from, from the startups and from the university, from the innovation teams. Uncertainty is the background of our experience as regulators. We try with our technical expertise to provide certainty uh, with uh, effective answers that need to be done and issued urgently. IWA brings us together. We have all the same problems and issues across the globe. So sharing experience is very relevant to us to understand what are the different problems that other regulators have and how they solve them. There are various challenges to meeting universal access to water and sanitation on the continent of Africa. I think top of this is the increasing population, the increasing urbanization, which is choking the capacities of the facility, the infrastructure that has been uh, put in place. Climate change is another aspect that is exacerbating the situation and making it very difficult for governments to meeting universal access to water and sanitation for its population. Mm -hmm. 